There are two words uh, that describe Chemi Paris. One is dream and the other one is big. Always dream big. There is nothing more important for him than the family and I think that there's nothing more important for him that he wishes just that, that he continues to be among these great you know, children and grandchildren. Chemi is a special person. He's a friend, he's a partner, a source of inspiration. Um, first time I met him, I saw his creativity and the way of thinking. And uh, it looks like it's came to him by nature. Chemi has a fantastic sense of humor. And working with Chemi is, I can tell you, pure pleasure because he's always driving the Paris Center and me to be better. It is never a, something that you finish off in a small scale. It's always something in a huge scale that involves countries, different uh, religions, a lot of beliefs. This is actually his, I think, his agenda. And if I disagree with him sometimes on something, it is about uh, the pace and the tempo. So how did I get to meet Chemi? So to tell you the truth, there is not a single, a single occasion I remember just because we were 14 years old. I mean, there's a lot of things that are very unique, Chemi type of things. Well, first, he denies rigorously everything that relates to persuading him doing sports. So you'll never find him in a gym. He'll write a diary every day, his reflections, what he did. If you give him a guitar in the evening in the salon, you know, you'll have to eventually kick him out because he'll go forever. Like uh, three hours he'll spend like uh, playing the guitar. He will always prefer uh, a bagel with cream cheese over uh, a famous lunch at, uh, at the Three Star Michelin. When you ask about him as a passionate person, I think it's a combination of passion and entrepreneurship, and there are many examples to that in his career. He's always an enabler for people to be startup. What we're doing is that we're taking uh, Israeli entrepreneurs, Arab and Jewish entrepreneurs together, so you can see young people working together, Jewish and Arab, on innovative projects and afterwards becoming uh, maybe great startups. So all of the projects of the Paris Center for Peace and Innovation, you can see these elements working together under the leadership of Chemi Peres. If I need an advice, if I need a good hug, that's where I'll go, you know. I mean, this is so exciting to see innovation around you every day and to be able to, to really back it and to see how small projects become a huge technology, innovation, unifying people, bringing them together with values. This is what we mean about making the world a better place. Only innovation and only startups will help us with what's going on here with the climate change, with the problems with the environment. This is what is going to change, nothing else. Chemi Paris is a pioneer in the field of innovation, of high tech, of the ecosystem. He's helping the situation to make all countries live together, maybe by business, but it's important as uh, more than sometimes more than politics, because through the business you can make real peace between people, because this is the main impact that we all looking at. Friends, as a value, it's more important than any other thing. He's got this great DNA, so why interfere? Just let him be <laughs> what he is and, uh, and do what he has to do. I don't need to persuade him to do anything else. <laughs>